Hi there and welcome to this video on integration between the LDRA tool suite and MATLAB Simulink. There are a few different reasons why you might to integrate these two tools. So the first one is when you're performing software in the loop testing or processor in loop testing uh, within Simulink, you can use LDRA as the code coverage tool to collect code coverage during that process. On top of this, you can also use LDRA's verification tools on the auto-generated code. So this includes traceability to requirements. You can perform a static analysis on the auto-generated code. And if you perhaps maybe haven't got 100% code coverage from your model level tests during the, that SIL process, you might also want to generate lower level tests at the unit level to supplement that code coverage. In this video, we'll look at the first one. So we'll use LDRA as the code coverage tool during a SIL test. And then as a follow on video, I'll create a unit test to supplement that code coverage. So here we have our model all set up for software and loop testing. And what I've done here is I've gone to the verification tab in the code generation options and I've selected LDRA testbed as the third party tool for code coverage for SIL or PIL. And to configure this, all I needed to do was point it towards the directory where I have the LDRA tool suite installed. And if you have both tools installed, Simulink and LDRA, then that's all you need to perform the integration. Then when we run our test, the model will be rebuilt if there's any changes and then LDRA will be called under the hood to perform the instrumentation phase. And then during execution, we'll be collecting that code coverage data and generating a code coverage report at the end of that SIL test. So the simulation is complete here. I'll kill the data inspector. I'm not interested in the actual results. What I want to take a look at is the code generation report. So this is the classic Simulink code generation report with the code coverage annotations on top. And if you're like me, you might find this a little bit difficult to read. So we can then use the LDRA code coverage report instead to take a look at the coverage results. So this is tailored per industry for uh, safety criticality levels. And right now we're reporting on statement branch and MCDC coverage. And let's take a look at say counter type B here and figure out what's missing. So we can clearly see that there's some generated code that hasn't been executed during that cell test. So we've got a choice here. We could go back to the model level and generate more tests at the model level to try and uh, exercise this code, or we could create some lower level unit tests on this code. And that's what I'll do in the next video using LDRA's TB Run. Thank you for watching. If you'd like any more information, then please don't hesitate to get in touch via these channels.